Hi chess friends, today we are going to witness Magnus blunder against Wesley. So, Wesley plays with white, Magnus is black, Wesley starts with e4, Magnus plays c5, knight to c3, knight to c6, Sicilian defense, closed variation, knight to f3, e5, bishop to c4, develops a bishop, and makes way for castle g6 usually black plays d6 or bishop to e7 in this position but magnus wants to fiancatos his bishop d3 h6 preventing bishop to g5 h3 d6 knight to h2 preparing f4 to open the f file for his rook Bishop to g7, castle on the king side, knight to f6, making way for castle, f4, e pawn takes f4 pawn, bishop takes f4 pawn, develops the bishop with tempo, castle on the king side, queen to d2, creating a battery to win the h6 pawn, king to h7, protects the h6 pawn, Knight to f3, bishop to e6, knight to g5 check was played, which is a mistake. Best move is knight d5, let's see the continuation, knight to h5, bishop to h2, rook to b8, and the game is equal. Back to the position, knight to g5 check. Knight sacrifice by Wesley. H pawn takes knight on g5. Bishop takes g5 pawn. White as a pawn and bishop pin as compensation for the knight. Knight to e5. Preparing knight e2 d7, which will protect the knight on g6. Queen to f2. Inaccuracy. It's best to move the rook to f4. Followed by rook a to f1 because in a battery more powerful piece should be behind the less powerful piece. Knight e to d7 e5 making way for knight to come to e4 square gives up one more pawn to put more pressure on the knight on f6. D pawn takes e5 pawn. Knight to e4 now four pieces attacks the knight on f3 and have only three defenders queen to b6 was played by magnus another inaccuracy best move is bishop to f5 which will completely block the knight from queen attack no need to be afraid of g4 as black as the resource of bishop takes knight on e4 which will reduce the attacker. If white plays knight d6, then queen to b6. Knight takes bishop on f5. G pawn takes knight on f5. Queen takes f5 pawn. Check. Black has the advantage of knight for a pawn. Back to the position. Queen to b6. Unpins the knight, which reduces the black's advantage, and the game is equal. Queen h4 check. Now there are 4 attackers and only 2 defenders for the knight. So knight goes to h5 square to block the check. g4. White wants to win the knight on h5. Bishop takes bishop on c4. g pawn takes knight on h5. White gets back the sacrificed knight. Bishop to d5 was played. Inaccuracy by Magnus. Best move is f5. Let's see the continuation. Knight to g3. Rook to h8. Queen takes bishop on c4. White has a small advantage. Back to the position. Bishop to d5. Game continued as knight to f6 check. Best move is h pawn takes g6 pawn check. 
let's see the continuation king takes g6 pawn bishop to f6 bishop takes bishop on f6 rook takes bishop on f6 queen takes rook on f6 knight takes queen on f6 knight takes knight on f6 rook f1 even though black has rook bishop and knight for a queen white is winning in this position because the black king is unsafe and white's queen and rook are in excellent position to attack the black king back to the vision knight to f6 check game continued as knight takes knight on f6 rook takes knight on f6 queen takes rook on f6 was played blunder by magnus best move is bishop takes rook on f6 let's see the continuation h pawn takes g6 pawn check king takes g6 pawn queen h6 check king f5 rook f1 check king to e6 rook takes bishop on f6 king to d7 rook takes queen on b6 a pawn takes rook on b6 black has two rooks as compensation for the queen everything is okay for black back to the position queen takes rook on f6 now black will have only rook and bishop as compensation for the queen which increases white's advantage bishop takes queen on f6 g5 queen takes g5 pawn bishop takes bishop on f6 queen f5 check king g7 h6 check white wants to capture the bishop with check king takes h6 pawn queen takes bishop on f6 with check king h7 queen to f5 check king to h6 queen to f6 check king to h7 black is preparing rook g8 check followed by rook to g2 and will go after the pawns on second rank so wesley played king to f2 preventing rook check on g8 rook g8 by black queen h4 check king to g6 rook to g1 check king to f5 queen to h7 check if king moves then rook will be lost by rook takes rook on g8 rook takes rook on g8 and queen takes rook on g8 but black has the resource of rook to g6 saves the rook rook takes rook on g6 f pawn takes rook on g6 white forcefully exchanges the rook which is good for white queen d7 check bishop to e6 blocks the check otherwise bishop will be lost queen takes b7 pawn white wins the pawn rook to h8 goes after the h3 pawn king to g3 protects the s3 pawn g5 queen to g7 attacks the rook rook to h4 b3 blocks the a2 pawn from bishop slightly better is queen takes a7 pawn which automatically protects the a2 pawn a5 a4 e4 d pawn takes e4 pawn check king takes e4 pawn queen to g6 check bishop to f5 blocks the check queen to c6 check king to d4 protects the c pawn c3 check king to e5 queen takes c5 pawn check wins another pawn king to f6 queen to b6 check bishop to e6 blocks the check king to g2 prevents any check by rook rook to e4 slightly better is to capture the s3 pawn with rook
which creates a passed pawn for black. B4. White's idea is to eliminate the black's A pawn and to create two passed pawns. A pawn takes B4 pawn. C pawn takes B4 pawn. Rook to E2 check. King to G3. Rook to A2. Queen D4 check. King to F5. Queen to D3 check. King to E5. A5. Pushes the passed pawn. Bishop to d5. Queen to e3 check. King to f5. Queen to d3 check. King to e5. King to g4. Goes after the g pawn. Rook to g2 check. Defends the g pawn. King to h5. Bishop to e4. Queen to c3 check. King to f4. A6. Rook C2. And Magnus resigned the game. As black need to give up the rook or bishop to stop the A pawn. So Magnus resigned. If you like the video, share, subscribe and like. Thank you. Post your suggested games in the comment section.